what is up guys today i'm gonna to be showing you how you can import products from dhgate to shopify now there are multiple ways to import products from dhgate to shopify and i'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can do this so what you need to do guys uh what you need to do guys first is you want to log in into your shopify store um now after that you want to download an app that will help you import products um then, like i said there are like multiple apps and uh, there are paid apps and free apps now what you need to do guys you want to click settings at the very bottom left and then you want to click on apps and sales channels and then you want to click on shopify app store in the top right okay now after guys you click on shopify app store now we want to download this app it's called importify okay now as you can see this is the name of the app I already installed the app as you can see it says for me here open but for you you will have to click on install and click again on install now after you install the app it will give you one day free trial as you can see it's only one day free trial available of course you will have to enter your credit card information so uh, and then yeah after like if you don't like it uh, make sure to cancel the subscription or remove the app from your Shopify store okay uh, or if you want to pay for it, it's only like $14 per month. Okay. Now there are, there is another app. It's called Robo, but it's like the, they don't import the exact, like they don't, they make a lot of mistakes. Like it's not accurate 100%. So this app is really good. Okay. So you need to, like I said, click on install. And after that, what you guys need to do is just, uh, like I said, enter like the, your credit card information so that you can use that one day free trial. Of course, they are not going to charge your card now. Um, after one day, then they are going to charge your card. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, now after you are like, uh, after you are on this page on Importify, now you need to uh, like, um, I would say like uh, download the extension. Okay. Now you just need to go to Google, okay? Search in the search results, search for Importify, Importify extension, okay? Now you wanna search for Importify extension and click on the first result and make sure you click here. I already, like I said, added the Importify extension here. Now, as you can see, it says for me here, remove from Chrome. Now you wanna add this to Chrome. Okay, click on add to Chrome, click again on add to Chrome. Make sure you pin the extension in the top by clicking on this extensions icon and then pin it. Okay, just click click on here. As you can see, this is uh, this is Importify. Click on this pin button and that's it. Now you, uh, make sure you see here the Importify uh, uh, like uh, extension in the top. Now you wanna go to DHgate, okay? Now that's what I'm going to do right now. Now you wanna find any product you want to import to your Shopify. So let's say that I want to, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's say that I want to import, for example, makeup products. Search for what you want to import. Now, for example, um, let's say I want to import this product. Now, after you are on the product page, you wanna click on the extension in the top and then click on import now. Now, of course you can make some changes before pushing this product to your Shopify store. For example, you can also change the title, you can change the price, uh, the description. Um, if it has any video, you can remove it if you want. Images, you can just select all images here. If you click here, it will select all images. Now, after you are done, then what you guys need to do is just need to push this product to your own Shopify store. Okay, uh, it's easy. Okay, just go to um, here, as you can see product, where you can see the title of the product, scroll down and click on add to store. As you can see, it says here, adding the product to your store. This will take, I would say, a few seconds, as you can see. Now, if you click here on view, then you can view the products inside your own Shopify store. As you can see, it's already imported into your Shopify store. And as you can see, this is my Shopify store. Okay. Now, if you go also to your Shopify store, um, you can click on products here and you will find that exact product here. As you can see, this is the product. Okay. I'm going to click on view on online store. And as you can see, this is the product. Okay. 
so if you have any questions you don't understand anything let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment so hopefully this one helped you um see you guys in the next one